Hello everyone and welcome to another video. During consultations with clients interested in utilizing Obsidian for their PKM system, I frequently receive questions regarding the optimal way to structure their vault. This is indeed a complex question because there isn't a right or wrong answer here. The best strategy entirely depends on your thought process and your preferred method of organizing your thoughts and ideas. For instance, my approach always involved an hefty folder structure for organizing my files. This was largely a tactic to maintain coherence in my notes rather than allowing them to dissolve into a disarrayed mess within my vault. However, I soon realized that this system seemed to curtail Obsidian's true potential. I yearned to experience a sensation of freedom without fretting over which folder would be the most appropriate for storing my notes. Months ago, I stumbled upon Kepano's Obsidian Vault template, which inspired me to entirely remodel my vault and adopt a new methodology for organizing my notes. I completely sidelined the concept of folders and subfolders and began focusing on creating connections between my thoughts and ideas. Adopting this approach significantly enhanced my ability to build a real interconnected web of knowledge. And in today's video, I want to show you my Obsidian Vault structure. But before we start, do ensure you've subscribed to the channel and activated the notification bell. And if you are interested in extending further support, now you can do so by becoming a member of the channel. But now, let's jump into my vault. Let's start from the folders I use. The attachments folder functions as a repository for various file types such as images, PDFs, videos and so forth. A single folder suffices for this purpose, and I embed these files within my notes as needed. Canvas is the place where I store every Canva I am working on. The categories folder is one of the two pillars of my vault. It contains a broad overview of my notes divided by category. Each category serves as a map of content or table of content or whatever you want to call it. Classes is just a folder that contains the files class for the Obsidian Community plugin Metadata Menu. You can see what Metadata Menu is in one of my videos where I talk about how to use Obsidian as a CRM. I will leave the link in the description down below. Journal is a repository for my daily, weekly, monthly and yearly notes, divided in four subfolders. Notes is a generic folder where I store all my notes. I use this folder just because I don't like to see my notes inside the root directory of my vault. Read later is where I store all the highlights and notes I take from everything I capture through Readwise, divided by type of content. I published a video about Readwise and I will leave the link in the description down below. Templates is the other pillar of my vault that simply contains all the templates I use for my notes. Now that you know the basic structure, let's go deeper. First of all, using templates for your notes can save you time and maintain the needed uniformity. I have a template for each category and every template has its own properties, but there are some standards I follow for all of them. Every template has a created field with a script that automatically sets the date when I created the notes. The category field, which I consistently denote in plural form, functions as a convenient internal link. Basically, it effortlessly directs you back to the top-level overviews. The tags field, that unlike the category field, is always indicated in a singular form. And lastly, I use property names that can be applicable across various categories, like topics, to publish, published, or cover. Now, when I create a note, for example, a note about a new article, it gets placed in the notes folder. However, as you may notice, this folder is already filled with numerous notes. In this case, the category section helped me to keep everything more organized. If I open the category Medium, I can instantly see all my notes regarding the articles I publish on Medium. This is a data view table that updates automatically depending on the category field of the notes. In fact, here there is the note I created before. I can open it. And now, if I want to get back to the top level overview, I just need to click here on the link of the category. And this was a simple showcase about the basic structure of my Obsidian Vault. Obsidian marks a profound shift in not taking and PKM philosophies. It moves away from individual centric approach to a network centric one, valuing the connections between ideas over the ideas themselves. 
Obsidian presents a universe where your thoughts and notes are not just collected, they are connected. And I firmly believe that using less folders promotes not linking. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon, and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know how your Obsidian Vault is structured in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.